Hello everybody, welcome back. If you guys are concurrent viewers of the channel, you know that SHD is currently the largest ETF in my portfolio and pretty much a core position. And it's one of the most hated on dividend ETFs, especially in a bull market where Nvidia seems to be carrying everything. But I think long term SHD is still a perfectly fine investment. In today's video, I'll be sharing the good news of SHD's recent dividend hike, my expectations going forward with the ETF, and what I'm planning to do with it in my portfolio. I'll also be sharing my thoughts on the current sentiment on the ETF and why I think it is, and so much more. With all that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hello, I like money. Alright, to start off the video and fill anyone in that hasn't been following my thesis on SHD. I do not expect to outperform the stock market with SCHD. I think that's kind of a given fact. But with the time horizon in which I plan on holding SCHD 10 to 15 years for SCHD specifically, I plan to let my SCHD dividends reinvest every quarter, continue averaging into it, especially when the price is down, letting the snowball effect go into play, and overall having it be a solid stream of passive income in the portfolio. It also gives me a much more defensive side of the portfolio, especially when stocks go down, something a lot of people aren't accustomed to these days, especially all the Twitter fingers. Man, I remember in 2022 when we had a bit of a bear market, everybody was piling in SCHD. HD and it was so hyped and then suddenly Nvidia happened and it's funny how sentiment can change like that. During times like this is probably the best time to average into SCHD but unfortunately I've already done most of my averaging so I haven't been buying for a while now. I'm reinvesting my dividend and holding on to it for now, but if it goes near my cost basis again, I will definitely be adding more. And for full transparency and disclosure, my average cost per share is around $71, $72 a share. And something that's even more funny is that my SHG, which I've only held for a few months, already has more gains in capital appreciation than SHD. I don't really care though because NVIDIA is a very real thing. My hope with SHD is at least to get some solid dividend growth, which you're seeing right now, which I'll talk about in a second with the hike. Also some solid capital appreciation. I don't expect to outperform the market with SHD. I think anybody that's rationally investing into it really isn't as well. It's a solid capital appreciation machine that offers you some solid passive income in the meantime. I understand that I'm 18 years old, I should be investing in SHD, whatever you want to say. It's personal finance, and that's something I think that's really being overblown by a lot of people, especially on Twitter. If we use the five-year chart method, which is basically looking at the last five years of the stock's performance and determining whether it's a good ETF or company or not, SHD is currently up around 45%, and that is not including dividends as well, that's not total return. The hope is to get some decent capital appreciation with SHD, no doubt, but overall just have a solid stream of growing dividend income through some solid dividend payers. If you want to find out the kind of companies that are in SHD, go watch my SHD analysis video which I made about a year ago and the same still holds true today. So we got the cash flow clowns over here on Twitter. So basically they announced a dividend, it was about 82 cents a share, it was a supplemental dividend which after doing a little bit of due diligence, thank you to SHD Stan the man, he kind of filled me in on what a supplemental dividend was and he shared that this SHD payouts include supplemental dividends, this happens as some when there is excess cash and one of our shareholders. Some reasons for paying them can include strong company earnings, selling a business unit or subsidiary, a business spin-off, or corporate restructuring. June is already the largest payout month for SHD, typically June and December are, but this is a really good sign. A lot of people worried last year of SHD's lack of dividend growth compared to previous years, and this made up for it by a margin. From last Q2, this is a 24% increase, and from year over year, this is a 13.79 increase already. Let's discuss the topic of the day, which is performance, and obviously we have to pull up the five-year chart. Unfortunately, we aren't a seeking alpha quant analyst yet, so we can't unlock the 10-year yet. But looking at the last five years, even with NVIDIA's insane performance recently, the S&P 500 has had a total return, including dividends, of 87.48%. And as much as people like claim the crazy underperformance that SHD has, they are only underperforming by about 12.2%. It's not the crazy trade-off that people make it to be, and especially that's only five years too, where dividends and reinvestment, that whole process hasn't really taken place over a long-term time horizon yet. And let's not forget the period of 2021, 2022, and majority of 2000. 2023, where SHD was actually outperforming SPY. A lot of people don't like to acknowledge that. Look, I'm not saying that SHD is going to outperform the S&P 500 on a long-term time horizon, but people like to nitpick performance. It's personal finance. If other people really care that much and are insecure and want to try to sway you out of investing on a particular style, just block them or ignore it. SHD is an ETF that I believe will provide some quality returns and some solid dividend yield and growth over the long term. For me, I'm using it as an income tool for potentially 10, 15 years where I can start using that money, pay for vacations, traveling, cocaine. Give me a little bit of flexibility in my lifestyle because life is very stressful. 
All right, I hope you guys appreciated me being the nice voice on the right side of your head, kind of swaying you out of maybe some short-term sentiment you may be hearing on Twitter. Thank you all for watching. Smash like and subscribe. And of course, do you and socks off drugs. Have a good one.